Hello, my name is Stuart Hamlin. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, in this short video, I, I just wanted to explain to some of you who have been following my Fitzit work and the new stick videos, um, how the stick work came about and what kind, to answer the question, what kind of stick should I be using? Um, so, as you'll know, I'm a Feldenkrais teacher and um, the developer of the Fitzit programme. And here in Rutland, in the UK where I'm based, I work with uh, individuals in one-to-one -one lessons. And in particular, I work with quite a few students who are quite elderly, some in their 90s, and also some students who have been affected by strokes. And um, during the lockdowns um, here in the UK, a number of my stroke clients, um, their movement deteriorated. And one of the things that caused that is because they weren't having access to their usual therapies, they're often sat at home, um, often sitting in one position one, um, without any change and often the weight of the stroke affected side, the weight of the um, stroke affected arm for example, would begin to pull their spines over to one side, which often meant that they were getting other issues like neck pain or back pain. And so I was, um, at, and the other issue with uh, clients in that position is there may be other things going on apart from the stroke. There might be a shoulder issue or a wrist issue. And so my um, question to myself was, how could I help these people move, begin to introduce movement into their system in as simple uh, a way as possible? You know, in an ideal world, they should be doing exercise maybe, should be doing other things. But the reality is that these people, these students often needed to exercise in a chair because that was the safest place for them. And how could I introduce movement into their system without lots of complicated instructions? Um, and what I discovered as I began to um, experiment with the use of a stick is that um, all of these students could easily understand the instruction push the stick or pull pull the stick or um, make a circle with the stick and even though they may not have been so much interested in the detail of their movement by putting the stick or asking them to put the stick in different places and to push the stick or pull it or um, imagine they're stirring a pot of pan of paella or a pot of porridge. You can perhaps see how I can I can begin as their teacher to introduce a lot of really good movement into their spines. Um, and um, uh, there's something about using the stick that was also rather wonderful. Um, it, for the students, they enjoyed it because they were doing something themselves. They were taking responsibility for the movement. And there's just something about playing around with the stick as opposed to not using one that gave them something to interact with, that they were m moving. And the side benefit of using the stick is that by... It, because the stick is in contact with the floor, it gave them, of course, a greater sense of stability or safety when they were coming to explore the movement. So that in reaching the stick out to the side, they weren't so fearful about shifting their weight. Shifting their weight. So by putting it in different positions and bringing different move, movement and um, change into their spines. <clears throat> so that's really the origin of the work through my one-to-one -one work with clients. And uh, I know some of you have got um, elderly relatives maybe that you're trying to help with their movement 
and um, I thought that's why I thought I'd share share the work with with you. And if you're able-bodied, of course, I'm not suggesting you should spend all your time in a chair exercising or you have to work with a stick. But you can actually do, if you're a desk or office worker, lots of wonderful things for your spine in a fairly um, simple and quick workout that doesn't require any expensive equipment and that's another motivation for me i wanted to show people for just the sake of a few pounds right um, you could do very nice things for your um, backs rather than spending hundreds and hundreds of pounds on an expensive chair um, so the sticks um, i bought them from my local hardware store, shop um, norton's in uppingham marketplace uh, they do a great job, Mark and Denise there, I'm really grateful. And initially I'd go in and pick a big piece of dowel, about one inch in diameter, and Mark would saw it off different lengths for me. Um, and then what I did was attach rubber ferrules, the kind of things that you have on the end of walking stick or crutches, um, just to give more stability um, for the, the movement. And as the stick work with the six has taken off, um, the, that prototype has shifted to what is effectively a wooden broomstick. It's five inches long, that's a good length um, for most people, and again um, uh, with two rubber ferrules on, on the end. And um, the cost here in Uppingham uh, the last time I bought uh, some sticks, there were five pounds fifty pence, so less than a tenner for sure. So do, please, if you're going to get a stick, don't spend a lot of money um, at all. It's a wooden stick with two bits of rubber on the end to give it stability. And for my students, I've customised uh, them by having a fit sit sticker sticker on the end. So. Um, don't spend a lot of money, your local hardware store hopefully will be able to help help you out. Um, and um, I've challenged my students to see if they can customise them by, I've got varnish on one, um, different colours or what, whatever, to make them a bit more interesting. Now, um, I should say, this isn't necessary. Uh, I um, sometimes travel for work, I travel abroad to work with children, um, and uh, sometimes adults and so because I enjoy working with the stick myself I have a travel version um, and I'll put a link in the description below it's something I bought on Amazon and what it is is in fact an Amazon Basics monopod so instead of a tripod for a camera you have uh, there are things called a monopod which is a single leg thing that you can attach a camera on to give it a bit of stability but I love it because it's got telescopic legs that are easily extendable to whatever height you, you are and it has a really simple um, uh, thing on the end of it which means I can adjust it so that it's rubber the rubber um, on the floor to give it a bit of support so that's my luxury travel option from Amazon, but still it was only about £20 here in the UK. Um, and it comes in a, an attractive travel bag. Other, other students of mine have got things like Nordic walking sticks and they've been using the, those. It's a stick, so whatever works for you. And uh, But if you are working with an elderly relative trying to show them some of these movements do make sure the bottom of the stick is um, stable that's why I like the rubber ferrules on the end I hope that answers the questions that people have been asking me if you haven't tried one of the stick workouts please join me they're a lot of lot of fun and as I've said you can do very very nice things for your back and your spine thank you